So item in the news, um, one of my posts either immediately before or immediately after this one is um, Wall Street plunges in the China tariff trade war. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a patriot. I want what's best for our country, for our economy, right? Uh, and so it troubles me when I see this headline and I actually feel that it could be good news. Um, so what's the immediate reason for that? I think the immediate reason is that I think Trump's tariffs, uh, tariff war, as most of the economists say, even his own, Kudlow, um, is, is a bad idea. This is the wrong move at the wrong time. Uh, it goes deeper than that. Um, uh, during the campaign, Mr. Trump said we need to demilitarize Europe, pull the troops out of Korea and so on not be involved with what China's doing over there and this and that. Um, and instead, instead of fighting the military war, we fight the trade war, which actually I, I thought was, um, made sense, you know, if, if, if it can work, right? Um, instead, what has he done? He's, he's ramped up the, the military war worse than our, anyone could possibly imagine. He canceled the INF nuclear treaty uh, we're off to another cold, another nuclear arms race. They've already announced in the news this past week they're stationing uh, new nuclear missiles near China, right? So he, he's bullying China for their, uh, possibly their very existence. Uh, I think he's, the, the whole push here is to get a nuclear first strike, win a nuclear war capability by the U.S. and NATO against Russia and China to, to uh, bully them into to to, uh, to subdue them, and 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 what's the problem with that? I mean, we're in the United States. We would think maybe this. First of all, I don't think we have a democracy. I don't think we're in control of our own government. Um, uh, there's two flaws in in what I just said. Why wouldn't we rejoice if if we can crush Russia and China? I don't think we are in control of our own government, and I don't think we're going to be. Uh, nobody would have voted for 9-11 inside job. Nobody supports it. It's not even human, right? That's why I believe, one of the reasons I believe extraterrestrials are in, in control. Um, we, we don't really have a democracy. We, the people did not choose to do 9-11 inside job. And they wouldn't choose, ever. Um, much less the Kennedy assassination and so on. Um, s secondly, uh, David Rockefeller, Illuminati, Rockefeller family, uh, is reported as having told Aaron Russo, number one, confiding in him uh, some time ago, uh, that 9-11 uh, was an inside job. And so Aaron Russo said, well, why? Uh, what's, what's, the, what's the goal here? How do you justify 9-11 inside job? And, and what uh, David Rockefeller said, because we want to enslave the human race. This is David Rockefeller, right? Uh, we want to enslave the human race. We don't want more upstarts here. We want to implant a computer chip in every human being with access, you know, to, so it gives the, 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 the stated goal there would be to give them access to their bank accounts and so on at, at the touch of a fingertip or what have you. He said, but the real goal is to, like 1984, but he didn't use this language, uh, suppress dissent. So if any... Um, but he starts to rebel. He told Aaron Russo, this, this, you could watch this video, uh, Google it. Um, he said, you, you wouldn't be, you, you, there'd be an exception for you. you. You would be allowed to rebel and speak out. But the regular people, if they try to uh, oppose anything that we're doing, will just deactivate their chip and they can't have access to their money. They can't go to the store and buy food. So why would I then, you know, be opposed to this idea right, of crushing Russia, of inside jobs? You know, what was the 9-11 inside job? To, to advance the new world order, to get control of the Middle East. Uh, and w why would I not feel comfortable with Mr. Trump ending the nuclear treaty? Not to mention we uh, may all be incinerated, <clears throat> but also just listening to what, David Rockefeller enunciated as the ultimate goal. If we succeed in crushing Russia and crushing China, then that's their, uh, they will have achieved 
uh, I believe the extraterrestrials will have achieved the goal of enslaving the human race. We all get implanted with computer chips, any descent, and we can be deactivated. We don't have money to buy food. Um, finally, now on the economic front, then, um, uh, David Stockman says uh, um, there's a disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street. That Wall Street is primarily for the wealthy, and uh, so the Federal Reserve pumps up uh, Wall Street for the wealthy, but it doesn't help Main Street. And so we can have confidence in David Stockman because he was Ronald Reagan's budget director, famous in the past, famous in the present. He appears regularly on Fox Business, on uh, CNBC. Even uh, the fellow on Fox Business, Neil Caputo, agrees with him on this thing of uh, uh, that the divide between Wall Street and Main Street, that uh, the Federal Reserve should be doing what Paul Volcker did under Reagan, which is to uh, say Wall Street has to be in it with everyone else. You can't just do things to favor Wall Street because there's a price to pay down the road. So, um, uh, you know, if, 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 if no less than Neil Cavuto agrees that um, uh, we shouldn't be tailoring everything to Wall Street, uh, we need to tailor it to Main Street, then I, I trust uh, that David Stockman is right. And finally, on the tariffs issue, um, you've got, I mean, I went to law school in a summer program uh, at one of the best economic schools in the world, ESSEC, École Supérieure des Sciences Économiques et Commerciales. They taught us tariffs, generally speaking, are bad. They can be used, it's like surgery. You don't want surgery unless it's an absolute must, and in which case you better do your research, find your doctor, get your hospital, and do it right, because it can backfire. Tariffs are, generally speaking, a bad deal. Rarely they can make sense, but these are not the conditions. And, you know, so I'm, I'm you know, how many people have warned him? Kudlow, his own economic advisor, has warned President Trump. Don't do a tariff war with China, it's going to backfire. And so why would I feel some, it might be good news that the Dow is plunging uh, with, with Trump having dis, disrespected his own economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, about tariffs, and my own uh, law school education about tariffs. He's, he's, he's rolling the dice uh, against the advice of his own advisor.